Hello children, this is grade 4, block 21 and S3. Topic is water cycle. What is water cycle and what is it importance you are going to learn now. Just you observe this. Open page number 131 and you read out this full paragraph you read out. Okay. And observe the picture. Here you can see evaporation, condensation and rain. So now I am going to explain you. So here what is water cycle? When it rains, ponds, lakes are filled with water isn't it so water from rainfall runs down as small streams so these small streams join together and make bigger streams okay so here these bigger streams join the rivers right the rivers flow down to seas and oceans so some of this rainwater seeps into the ground and becomes groundwater okay so as it is very hot when it is in the during summer large quantity of water evaporates from the sea okay so uh, evaporates from seas lakes rivers so this evaporation what happens and converts into water vapor okay so here this goes up into the air to form clouds right these clouds again cool and produce the rain okay so the circulation of water into water vapor by evaporation, water vapor to clouds and clouds to rain by condensation is known as water cycle. Okay. Again, I'll repeat. The circulation of water into water vapor. Okay. Water vapor to clouds and clouds to rain by condensation is known as water cycle. So, this cycle of evaporation and condensation takes place continuously in the nature right children now open uh, turn to page number page number here uh, 134 see question number five draw and label the diagram of water cycle so this diagram you have to draw very neatly in your uh, class workbook on the left side just label it and color it beautifully okay neat you have to do now question number six explain how rainwater reaches the sea sixth question answer okay so ex um, explain how rain water reaches the sea so answer is here when it rains the water seeps into the soil from when it is carried to the rivers on mountains streams are formed okay so which also takes the rain water to the rivers the rivers takes this water to the sea that answer you have to write now open your workbook okay children in workbook s3 it is there so in that s3 what you have to do fill in the blanks you are having children in that so in that fill in the blanks what you have to do um, in that fill in the blanks what you have to do sorry i don't have workbook now just you open your workbook turn to s3 okay s3 water cycle just you see the water cycle in that one first one you're having fill in the blanks children in that fill in the blanks a is sun b is evaporation c is water vapor and cloud d is rain e is rivers and question number two here you're having write about the journey of of a drop of water so you write on your own let me see how far you have understood about the journey of water you write on your own words and get it okay whatever the work i have given do neatly and correctly thank you children